So, talking about the wind and what's in the wind also has a meaning about news. Whirlwind in the ancient world meant a lot of activity going on. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud and a fire enfolding itself, and a brightness was about it, and out of the mist thereof, as the colour of amber out of the mist of the fire. Image shows six workers blowing air from their lungs through twires to smelt metal using an ancient type of Egyptian furnace. The furnace fire enfolding itself as air is blown into the furnace from the outside. Whirlwind, read, much activity. Wheel, Hebrew. Gaigal, rolling, circle, cycle and whirlwind. Out of the north, read Giza Plateau, North Egypt. A great cloud, read smoke and steam, arising from smelting furnaces and casting procedures. The colour of amber, read the colour of molten bronze. Out of the mist of the fire, read the product bronze being produced from the central fire of the furnace. That is written in Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 4. In the tradition of the Kabbalah, words were changed to secure knowledge. So, for instance, where someone might write uh, the word bronze, they, they alter that word to amber and we can see in chapter 1 of Ezekiel the, the changing of the word Ezekiel has written down creatures now these turn out to be men he also talks about creatures with clawed feet. Well, these are men with clawed feet tools. And the clawed feet tools were used to lift the pyramid blocks. The Ernst von Sieglin expedition in 1910 to the Giza Plateau it was one of the first scientific, or perhaps the scientific ex expedition. And uh, the team concluded that lifting apparatus had been used. There are notches cut out in pyramid blocks where these lifting claws were were fitted, were located, and uh, this was a this was made of bronze, a bronze foot. Um, Ezekiel writes, and they shone like burnished brass. Well, that's just a translation. This was the Bronze Age. Now, uh, there's more on my website, and there's a lot to talk about here. But the living creatures within the wooden machinery, which was used to raise these pyramid blocks, the spirits within this machinery 
it can be equated similar to the way that in the modern world uh, modern people talk about motor cars uh, with uh, with animal metaphorical speech like we've got uh, the Jaguar the Jaguar car um, and and the Jaguar a fast-moving animal uh, a predator uh, carnivore and it runs fast and so this power only need to watch a Jaguar car commercial and you'll see the you'll see the similar similarity between ancient spirits or spirits within machinery and this continues to this day after thousands of years we've still got this same notion the the animals that were spirited within the wooden machinery are well well documented in fact four gospels follow this documentation too and okay so we've got the oxen which is the beast of burden carries a load we've got the lion which can leap we've got the eagle that can soar and we've got man who is the who has the spirit of invention and manufacture so these are the four these are the four components the four component spirits that that, that made up the idea of, of this pulley being um, a powerful machine well to talk about the pulley uh, we we need to understand that items called have been called petrie rockers these have been excavated but all we have in the world today so far are flimsy two models which were meant for builders to use in their afterlife and they've either been found in secreted places like the monastery temple or the mausoleum at DL Air Bahari uh, a rocker was found out rockers were found in a hewn out rock with some other tools but it seems that more rockers have been excavated from builders tombs at Giza the rocker seemed to have some semblance of being a ceremonial artifact because Pharaoh Hatshepsut decided to put her name to one of them and I can understand the significance of making this a ceremonial object because of the spirits that I've just spoken about being integrated by people's metaphorical thinking so these rockers these petri rockers in in reality were were not just pieces of timber uh, put together to make machinery but uh, the idea that these rockers had spiritual beings within them like today somebody may be very 
how to say, overwhelmed that they own a Jaguar motor vehicle and and just the idea of saying the word Jaguar it it uh, brings forth all of this all of these ideas of what I've been speaking about power uh, prestige that goes with power sleekness speed maybe efficiency uh, techno technological advancement so this is how the these rockers became a ceremonial item in real life the the rocker is is made to the side length of a pyramid block so the, the the length of it if the pyramid block is one meter cubed then the rocker will be will have a length of one meter and it will be far more robust than any of the flimsy two models in fact the, the two models are only a rough indication of what this rocker really is take a real Jaguar motor car and then by the side of it put a model of the same Jaguar motor car and the two things are worlds apart they they look the same just to a casual observation but the shape is the same roughly but of course in the model there's no engine probably doors don't open nothing works in, in the model but in in the real car this is this is where we have to go to, to see the, the real thing we there, there are no uh, full-size rockers that, are, that have been found um, probably turned into firewood thousands of years ago uh, probably used until they were completely dilapidated and broken we know from the Palamo stone that Khufu's father Pharaoh Sneferu had sent to Lebanon for 40 shiploads of Lebanese cedar timber. Now I believe that Sneferu had the Red Pyramid built with this rocker pulley system, four lobe pinion pulley system. There were problems with the pyramids, uh, Dasher, and Snefru and a team of engineers ventured north looking for good solid bedrock. This was found at Giza and and this is where the the Giza Plateau became the the area where three pharaohs would each build have his own pyramid built Khufu was the first Khofre was the second and Menkare was the third by the time all this work had been done roughly a pyramid well the Great Pyramid is documented to 20 years time frame for construction so if we give 20 years to the other two pyramids that is 60 years then there was a lot of other building to be done the causeway walling of the temple complex 
which is now pretty much disappeared from the Giza Plateau, as it's disappeared from other pyramids as well. So after 100, approximately, just roughly speaking, 100 years of uh, this recent pyramid building at Giza was was enough to uh, promote a change. The people wanted to change by the well, all things change, and so change came about. And the pyramid building came came to an end. <laughs>